Today's gonna be my first shave with an inexpensive razor, I mean a straight razor. This is a gold dollar. Gold dollars are widely known in the community. Many people who actually straight razor shave every day and has a, have a big collection, they also say much thing, many things about the gold dollar and I was always eager to try. And in the community it's widely known that they are not shave ready, they're very cheap, they're inexpensive but they require some, some work. So what people try, uh, what people tend to do is changing a little bit the geometry, uh, get them on stones or even like in, in small machines to, to change the geometry a little bit. And also uh, for sure they, they hone them, they, they sharpen them because they don't come shape ready. So this one, actually it's not for me, it's for a friend of mine, but it was uh, honed by Eduardo. He's uh, very known in the German uh, shaving groups community. So shout out also to Eduardo. He, I've sent a couple of uh, straight razors for him to, to hone. This one's going to a friend of mine, but I, before I'm, I'm going to test it. So pretty excited too. And thanks again, Eduardo, and shout out to, to Eduardo. He also makes lives and Facebook groups. Um, I'll, I'll put the link below. So if you want to, if you want to see him in action, or if you want to um, uh, get to get to the German shaving community, I will leave also the link below. So. Quite excited about this one. And speaking of straight razors, I'm actually in Zolingen, Germany. I'm here because I'm, after this shave, I'm off to Dovo. I'm gonna uh, check them out, I'm gonna visit, I'm gonna spend the day there with them. As part of actually the Dovo Superfan Challenge, I was invited to, to visit them and yeah, to exchange. Um, hopefully I'll get to ask them questions and, and see uh, the backstage of uh, manufacturing the Dovo straight razors. So accompanying today's shave, I'm using a Yaki Bunny, a 22 millimeter. Um, synthetic brush and I'm getting Master Soap Creation, uh, the Chieftain. I know uh, um, Fernando Soaps, like he, the Master Soap Creation, he makes uh, the soaps for Yaki, uh, but this one I have never tried. This is actually branded as Master Soap Creation and the reason I picked them, it's a really, really, really good scent. Uh, the reason I, I bought this one is actually because the Chieftain is inspired in uh, Hugo Boss Bottled, which is my favorite, my go-to perfume. So it is cool to have, you know, the use um, the scent and then you put afterwards um, another scent that's going to be perfectly matching um, the soap. So I was eager to try this. I got this from the wet shaving store. Uh, so big shout out also to Andy. Um, he's got some great stuff. He's cured amazing collections of hardwares and softwares. And by the way, if you are eager to try some stuff, any stuff from, from Andy, make sure to hit the code BARBA to get 5% off of your, your purchase. So great deal. Thank you, Andy. Big shout out, Andy. Thank you very much. So let's go to today's shave. And afterwards, I'll talk what I, what I thought about the shave.
It's an amazing first pass. The blade is amazingly sharp, so shout out to Eduardo again. Really, really uh, sharp and, and going smooth. Uh, one thing I noticed, I overloaded the brush with the soap, which, I mean, the, 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 the leather was ex just exploded, just with a few swirls, like I, I created a, a huge, huge, dense leather. Um, amazing leather. However, for my straight razor shaves, I like to have a little bit more diluted, a little bit more water in the ratio, so, so that the blade can slide a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I just uh, added some more water to the face and I will reapply for the second pass and try to dilute a little bit. But amazing, amazing soap, amazing first pass. I'm really happy about it. So today's shave was the Gold Dollar uh, Street Razor, edged by Eduardo. Um, I used the Yaki Bunny uh, Synthetic 22mm. I used the set uh, Master Soaps Creation, the Chieftain. Um, and I finished with my the pairing, the matching uh, perfume, which is Boss Bottled. So today's shave was phenomenal, really, really good. Um, starting, well, let's say the brush um, was, was quite good. I like Yaki brushes, no surprises. I like the, the size 22 millimeter. And this bunny version, it's actually um, a shorter version. The handle is in metal, so there's a good heft. And yeah, very good to maneuver in hand and made uh, an exceptional, exceptional leather. Speaking of leather, I mean, this set is phenomenal. The soap, I overloaded the brush uh, extremely and you saw how easy and fast uh, the leather exploded. Great cushion, amazing shave. Uh, my second pass was um, was be to my, better to my liking in terms of ratio to water when uh, straight razor shaving. Amazing set, amazing scent. And the, the splash, if, you, if you're also uh, wanting to pull the trigger, this is a non-alcohol based, so it's, um, it's based on witch hazel and other ingredients. It's also good, it's um, easy to, to ship overseas as well because of uh, you know, shipping alcohol, so this one doesn't have this issue. And amazing scent, amazing product. Uh, I know already uh, Master Soaps Creations uh, soaps also with the Yaki soaps that I have that uh, Fernando also produces. And the start of the party, the gold dollar, was an amazing shave, really, really good. I mean, um, this razor, as many people say out there in the community, it does the job as good as any other razor. Uh, any other straight razor be even a lot more expensive than this one. But, um, of course, it has to be um, adjusted and it has to be honed by someone who knows, which I fortunately got this from, from Eduardo. He's extremely, again, a shout out to Eduardo extremely well regarded in the German shaving community as well. He does some lives every Sunday. He's very active in the face group, face group, uh, Facebook groups. So make sure to also um, follow him and the, and the group. 
amazing one, really good. And I see this one as a beginner and a straight razor for sure. As long as you have uh, sent it to someone who hones and, and get it ready, because it's not shave ready. But um, straight razor shaving, it's a steep curve. So you have to, you have to learn a lot of techniques, the muscle memory. You have to see if you like it as well. And also you've got to learn, for example, how to strop and all this. So with a razor like this, could be a very good beginner uh, razor so that you can get your technique down you can see if you like it and you can try test what well, you can um, uh, practice your stropping and then if you want uh, move to a more uh, a more fancy or, a, or a, a, another brand of, of a straight razor but amazing amazing shave really good and um, I think the the owner my friend is going to be happy with it so again Eduardo uh, many many thanks and Really good one. Um, we also, we've got to be very careful with the, with cheap straight razors, with the quality of the steel, the, the process they, 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 they come in the forging and the tempering, you know, and that's, that's why also many straight razors are actually more expensive, more to the expensive side, not only for the handle, like the fancy handle with horns or whatever wood, but also the steel is a very important piece or the most important piece of a straight razor. And making uh, a steel look like this, uh, the, the grinding and all that, is um, mostly a manual process by, by many brands, uh, and even still today. So that why, that's why it increases the price. So if you see a razor that's too good to be true, like too cheap, extremely cheap, watch out. Uh, maybe this gold dollar, which is actually cheap, you can get this in Amazon like 10, 20 bucks, and you can get uh, one like this. The, 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 the steel is very good, the blade is good, but you have to get someone to, to change the geometry and to, sh to hone it properly. And there might be some imperfections, you know, by, by closing, you have to pay attention if it closes uh, properly. And there's a really good video from uh, Matt Pisarczyk from Razor Emporium, where he talks a little bit about uh, the importance of the steel of a, of a straight razor and why you should always always you know be doubtful or or be mindful of very extremely well extremely cheap uh, straight razors as he says maybe you can end up with a, a very nice looking uh, letter opener that's that's it i mean you have to have a good material to hold the edge i mean take a look at Mark, matt's uh, video um he explains really well in his video so um watch out if you're buying some straight razor a cheap one and if it's a gold dollar it's not shape ready but amazing shave thanks again if you want to hit some of these products, for example, the soaps, check out Andy, the wet shave store, hit the code BARBA to get 5% off. Shout out also to, to Andy, amazing service. I mean, the, the shipping was extremely fast from the US to Europe was extremely, extremely fast. No hassle, no problem. And yeah, amazing shave. So thank you. We'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.